The secret to sticking to your note-taking habit could be treating it like a video game. That's the approach I'm taking with my project in Obsidian. What I'm using Obsidian for is creating evergreen notes that will grow and evolve with me over time and building a personal knowledge management system that I can then create creative work with over time. Now, to do that, I'm creating one, a dashboard that looks similar to what you'd see in like a grand strategy or like an RPG uh, video game in which I'm racking up points for every evergreen note I make. Let me walk you through it. So this is the dashboard I've created here. So at the end, um, the most important drop down here is this garden section. So what this does is it shows the three categories of evergreen notes I have. So I have seedling notes, which are just like an inkling of an idea. I have like this potted plant emoji, which is kind of mid-tier evergreen notes. And then finally, the evergreen tree are pure, solid, bona fide evergreen notes, kind of like the, the top achievement here. So as I create and tag these notes um, in my garden, I'm basically racking up, racking up points over time here. So it turns into kind of like a video game. Along with that, any, any um, input resources that I'm processing, I call those seeds. And I, they're tagged here in this data, uh, data view query where I can kind of just see the active ones that I'm working on. So this is a blog post by Morgan Housel. Um, I can jump to it straight from my dashboard here. Also, what I've done that I find very cool is I have this inactive quests um, dropdown. And what this is, is a plugin that migrates my idea bank from Todoist, uh, which is my quick capture system while I'm on the road, straight into my Obsidian Vault. So now ideas that I want to write about, they're kind of inactive quests. So I can look here and say, okay, like my workflow is kind of um, thin right now. Let me pick up a new side quest and, uh, and earn some points from it. So then when I take on one of these quests in the end, what I'm earning here is, uh, is uh, you know, seedlings or evergreen trees in my garden. Uh, and then finally, uh, we have this achievement section. So what I've done here is kind of cool. So one of the pillars of having good evergreen notes is having them be dense, then densely linked internally and also being linked, you know, outside of the notes to other notes. Um, so I've sorted this by my most reference. So I have this Canadian personal finance note that has two references, um, elsewhere. So two other notes in my vault reference this note. And this kind of comes like, like a high score, uh, it, it turns into like a high score of your notes. So you have an, if you have a note that's mentioned in 15 other places in your vault, um, logic would dictate that that is a very valuable note. It has a lot of API, API like plugin, um, uh, opportunities for you elsewhere in your knowledge system. So I want to keep track of this. I've limited the data view query here to only show me five, uh, five results. So data view, table without ID, um, and just a limit of five. So it's really just going to be those high achievers here. And all of these are data view queries. I'm just going to go through them very quickly. That's the garden in case you want to stop screenshot, see how I did all of these. That's the inactive uh, tags query as well. That's the Todoist plugin. One thing to note here, when you're building these, the uh, when you're putting a data view query inside of a callout in Obsidian, the three tick marks at the top need to be there, but the three tick marks at the bottom of the code block, um, they break. So just remove those three tick marks at the bottom, the code block automatically closes at the end of the callout. So just something that I, struggle with for a little while, but uh, hopefully that saves you some time. And finally here, legend, this is just to remind me what the hell do all these emojis mean in my system. The reference ones are for the, uh, the seeds. So that's one piece of this. Also, if um, I'm working within a note and I'm kind of building up that note over time, I found another gamified checklist system that I use. Let me show you how that works. Let's go to one of my seedling notes. Let's go to uh, my life protocol. This is something I'm, I've, I've started working on. It's, uh, it's the fledgling of a note. And if I wanted to see how far along in the evergreen note-taking process I am, I can uh, bring in a template checklist that I've also gamified. So I'll call it the evergreen checklist. So what I've done here is put together a checklist of all of the requirements of a seedling, a potted plant, or like a bona fide evergreen note. So if I have an inkling of an idea, um, a fully fledged idea that's about one thing, about a concept, densely linked, a building block that's written for me and not for the audience. So that's these. this is taken a lot from Andy Matushak's kind of definition guide on an Evergreen Notes, which I can link at the bottom. Um, and the really cool gamified portion here is I have a card status, 
which is actually, if I go to the edit mode, this is actually a big, I should get a mode there. This is actually a big um, inline data view query that automatically adjusts based on how many check marks of my evergreen note definition um, are checked. So right now the card status, this is still a seed because none of these uh, prerequisites have been checked. Have been checked. If I have an inkling of an idea, which I'd say, yes, this classifies as that, I just click that. Um, and then I can, you know, if I'm curious how far along I am, I can just click my card status, refresh it. And now I have a seed link because the inkling of an idea is the, the metric that I use to determine if I have a seedling node. Then, okay, the idea, looking at the body of the texture, there's enough. I'd say this is a fully fledged idea. Um, if I'm curious, I can check again, and now it's a potted plant. And then for this formula, which I'll pause on for a second, um, in case anybody wants to, to copy it, um, the way to get to Evergreen is for me to really uh, select all of the checklist items here. If I go back, once again, refresh, then this card is an evergreen note. Now I wouldn't just keep this automatically inside of a note. Um, if I feel like I need it just as a Sandy check, I could bring it in. And then when I'm done with it, I can just delete it. So I don't have these cluttering my vault all over the place. And then finally, if you're interested in more thought on how to gamify your note taking this article by Eleanor Connick um, on how obsidians replaced her video game obsession was uh, really insightful and it's what inspired me to create this whole workflow i've shared with you guys i'll link to that in the description below hope this helps you a little bit have a good day peace